Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. I got a little bit of a 10 to 15 knot breeze coming out of directly out of the east. Uh, so another perfect day for fishing the west side of these islands. Um, I'm actually back out to where kind of where I left off after last video. Uh, this is Water Key. Uh, I made it about a halfway up, maybe two thirds of the way through Water Key uh, before I turned back around and came back. Uh, that's kind of where I found the redfish. Um, so today I'm going to just keep extending that going farther north, um, just north of uh, Water Key. There's a few stacks of islands that I want to hit today. And then after that, it's Content Keys, which is basically the, the big last islands before you just head out to Open Gulf. Uh, there is probably going to be my targeting spot for permanent and bonefish. So uh, today we're just going to finish off the water key, uh, hit those smaller keys, just check those out. Um, water levels are high right now. Right now. You can kind of see the uh, mangrove leaves are actually submerged, so that tells you that it is very high right now. So I think in the short term, because I really can't do much sight fishing and those fish will be way in the back, uh, I found that mullet school here yesterday, so I think I might go pick up a couple of those. Uh, if I see some spots I like, I might pitch some chunks in there. Uh, I've got the white bucktail jig and I've got the uh, five inch white fluke uh, mimicking the finger mullet because I did see some small finger mullet yesterday which was nice. So otherwise uh, that's the plan. Well I think I found where the mullet are. Definitely some mullet mud in this basin. There's the old uh, secret spot over there with the blimp all right i found this nice little cove it's got a lot of mullet mud kind of pushes them all together so they're a little bit more condensed here see how clear it is on that side and they're just all mucked in here so i can see them flicking all over um it's about two and a half foot deep so not too deep but uh, i've got the snagging hook because it's high tide, I'm not going to see much sight fishing, so probably need some stinky bait to uh, attract anything. I see that uh, looks like a little outlet over there that has clean water, so that might be worth it to check out. All right, so finally at the northern tip, I'm finally getting to clean water here. The rest of it was all just mullet mudded out. This looks much nicer. It's got current. There's a cut. So I'm just looking for any kind of action. Even mangroves would be a good option. I, I went ahead and cast netted a couple of mullet. So I'm just looking for any groupings of fish anywhere that'll designate that as kind of a hangout zone. All right, we made it around the northern tip of uh, Water Key here. These are all the small little islands that I want to check out today. And then just on the other side there, there's two big, big islands. Those are the content keys, mud key. So uh, I'm just going to kind of hit these today and then that'll be good. A lot cleaner water over here because the water's pushing this way. That's why those mullet are kind of stacked up behind there. So I'm just going to just run around these islands, look for pockets, see what I can see. All right, made it out to the last island. Uh, this is the east side of Content Keys there. That's the stuff I'll save for another day. Uh, the flats and uh, that areas around there have more uh, sandy bottom. So kind of more uh, bonefish permit spots. There's one more island way out there, but I'm gonna act like I don't see that one. But I've already did a run around this island, this last one. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way backwards hit these as I kind of go towards the back, back to Water Key, and uh, see what we see. Water levels are just extremely high, so there's nothing to be seen along the edges. They're all way in there. I'm just looking for an isolated pocket that I could play with or whatever with the uh, cut bait mullet. So we'll find a spot to anchor up and see what we can catch. Well, I hit all those small islands, so I ended up deciding to cheat it just came down the cut on uh, one of the content keys here so 
I'm on the uh, north side of the contents here. A lot of water flows through this channel here. So just taking a look. Pushes a lot of water through these channels. Okay, just so I didn't waste the whole day covering all these islands, I went ahead and anchored up on this kind of a big channel, the cut on one side. So I've got these couple of mold to play with. Just gonna let it sink and run along that edge. I'll probably switch over to a uh, Cobra jig head so I can kind of get it down more. Oh, see if there's anything around. Something bumped it. Because there's so much current, it just might be too much current. There we go. Oh, I gotta watch my drag. They're grabbing it. Since I don't have chum, I gotta kinda build up some excitement down there. Even if I catch little ones in the beginning, that's fine. Just so that, uh, get some action going. There we go. Oh. It's gotta be little dinkers or something. Even that's okay. Little vibrations in the water is all we want. There it goes. There we go. There we go. Get him out. And I got him out. That's all we want is just to get a couple biting and then that'll get the others wandering. See, that's not a bad one right there. Let go! Get off my shirt. Alright, got the Cobra jig head. This is an old rusty half ounce I had in my kayak, so I figured I might as well use it. That's definitely going to sink uh, faster there. Good. Oh, get it out of there! Ugh. Uh, dragging me. Uh, is it a shark? I hope it's not a shark. Uh, get out of there. Uh, uh, that's got to be a Goliath, probably. Oh, yeah. That's what got me in there. Dang it. All right, so I'm just basically just drifting down this edge and then popping that mullet chunk. All these different spots here. There we go. Hey, <laughs> it looks like a redfish. Yup, yup, yup. I'm just drifting this edge with my mullet chunks. Whoa! Oh no, on the anchor. Oh no, off the anchor. Yes, off the anchor. Mullet chunks for the win. Quarter ounce Cobra jig head. And we didn't get skunked. There you go. Into the kayak you go. You got greedy. Another long skinny guy. There we go. Mullet chunk for the win. Man, I just dropped it down there and it wrecked it. That's how we do it. 
Nice red there. No blue on the tail. Get out of here. So I've just basically started right there at that point and just drifting down here, just flicking that chunk of mullet right along the edges here. Let's see if we can get another one. Something's got it. Oh. oh. Mangrove. Oh. Nice mangrove. I need an anchor here. Ooh. On the mullet chunk with with salad. Nice mangrove, man. Good deal. Oh. Oh. That's a pretty good sized mullet chunk too. See if there's any more in there. Well, I'm calling it. No CMs are killing me. The sun is setting. I still got a good distance to go. So uh, yeah, knocked off all those islands I wanted to see. Got a little bit of the content keys. And I had a Hail Mary tarpon, I mean a uh, redfish and a nice mangrove. So didn't end up getting skunked. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.